Do you ever feel like your time is not your own? That you never have time for the things you want to do, only the things you have to do? I hear you. Stay tuned for the advice that helped turn me around. Welcome to this episode of Coffee Break with Coach Joan. Quick tips for busy professionals with certified coach and professional trainer, Joan Washburn. As a coach, the two main reasons people give me for not doing the thing that they've been wanting to do for a long time are, I don't have the time or I don't have the money. Regarding money, it touches everything and I can't cover it all today over coffee. But if you're interested, contact me to learn more about a book study I offer on the best-selling book, The Energy of Money, A Spiritual Guide to Financial and Personal Fulfillment, written by Dr. Maria Nemeth. It is truly transformational, and I'd love to talk with you about it. Today, I want to focus on the one thing we all have the exact same amount of, time. All of us have 1,440 minutes of time each day. Someone once said that God invented time to keep everything from happening at once. In fact, humans invented time to help bring order, meaning, and understanding to their unique existence. But often we lose that order, meaning, and understanding in a flurry of constant activity. We wear ourselves out running from the moment we get up until we fall into bed exhausted. Our time is spent either working and caring for others. Or if we have some extra time, we waste it on mindless activities like video games, TV, social media, and the like. Now, I understand the need to unwind and relax. I too have my favorite TV shows. However, let me ask you a question. What would you do that you're not doing now if you had all the time in the world? What would you do? Spend more time with a loved one? Play an instrument? Learn a language? Write a book? Play with your dog? Maybe it's something you used to really love doing, but now you just don't have the time. Well, let's look. Spending just 10 minutes a day on something you truly enjoy for one year equals 60 hours, the equivalent of a college course. Imagine consistently spending 70 minutes a week, 60 hours a year on something meaningful to you. Please don't misunderstand me. I am not recommending that you jam every 10 minute intervals with something productive. This can easily lead to that frenzy of activity I mentioned earlier. Instead, think of that thing you've always wanted to do, but didn't have or never found the time to do it. Now, schedule 10 minutes in your day to do this fun, meaningful thing that you would really love to do. Imagine a little over an hour a week just for you. As your coach, I strongly recommend it. Email me and let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching Coffee Break with Coach Joan. For more great information, visit washburnendeavors.com. Also, browse the other shows found right here at Toledo Biz TV Shows.